So the importance of people to, as guides in my life has been an essential part. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Ah, brilliant. Thanks, Elliot. Now, you know, when we, when we talk about, you know, being different and, uh, you know, we we'll, we'll talk brand as well about being more giraffe, but there's um, a, a lot of people, like if you look, look at the world, there is like a section which is perceived or seen to be like normal, you know. You mentioned yourself, you know, growing up, there were certain things which were a bit out of like the norm of people. I, I mean, your dys uh, dyslexia as well. So that can uh, create obviously a number of challenges. And, you know, if you don't have the right guidance, it can even end up in a different, you know, path, maybe destructive compared to others. So uh, do you think for the people who end up like standing out or doing something different, there has to be something that is different to them from like an earlier age because if you are like a normal child doing well in school or whatever you will probably ended up with a maybe you, you know degree university education got a job and worked your uh, career ladder and all of that but your path uh, you know took a different turn because of some of the traits of you being different do you think it's necessary that or can people turn themselves from a normal and just become something different? <clears throat> it's a great question. I think, you know, first we have to examine is what, what is normal, right? Mm, yeah. And I think we have to look at, you know, for those people that did get a degree and did get a great job and having a great life, that's okay. I mean, that's, that's, yeah. they're living within their value system, their belief system. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. I think anybody can choose to stand out, right? I, I think anybody can learn to be a speaker and anybody can choose yeah. to stand out and anybody can choose to make a dent and everybody can disrupt an industry. I think the key difference is, is a lot of people aren't willing to take the hits and do what it takes to get to where you need to get to, to, to create that, to stand out. Um, because it's a path full of rejection. It's a path full of criticism. It's a path full of negativity. Um, you know, Elon Musk, right? Take Elon Musk. He's one of the key disruptors of industries in the world. And he's driven by his mission to save the human race. Mm. And he just like, he just, he's always up against it. Whatever he does, he's up against it. Criticism, rejection. Yeah. It's never going to happen. It's never going to work. Right. <clears throat> so he, on a daily basis, has to be a better version than everybody else around him. Mm. So it's a choice. He chooses to do that because that's the path he wants to go down now you don't have to play on the elon musk level you can play on various levels but it's a choice but it's the choice i think a lot of people buy into the the glamour and the the, the, the dream and the, mm. the you know that they see that oh i just wrote an idea on a beer mat and look at me now i'm a millionaire mm -hmm. right they just they don't see all the graft the hard work you know being an entrepreneur yeah. being someone who's a disruptor being someone who's just who's choosing to stand out you're continuously manage, managing the anxiety that something can go wrong at any minute, right? You're always slightly on the edge. Um, and that's something that people don't understand uh, or aren't willing to live by. And if you're willing to live by that, you can. And again, it's understanding, you know, you can make a huge impact on a small community and have a legacy that way. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be, you know, you know gandhi style revolution you know or martin luther king it's great if that's what you want and you're willing to go for that go for it i'll be the first to encourage you but you know you can stand out in various ways at different levels yeah but understand that the moment you poke your head out that you're open to, to mm -hmm. the criticism the judgment the rejection and that is part of the path yeah. so i was working with a, an incredible young chef last year and she was on um Master Chef Professionals, and she mm -hmm. came in the top four. So anyone that's been watching that will know who that is. And because she was very quickly elevated to a certain level, she because she said one word which was taken out of constant, she got days of hate. Wow. Thousands of hate emails, thousands of hate comments. But that is part of sticking out, standing out, yeah. daring to do something. Of course, she apologized. I mean, did she need to apologize? That's something else. But the fact is she had to mm. and claw it back. And that's changed the whole relationship. I mean, I interviewed her on my podcast and that changed the yeah. whole relationship with social media, with the media, with being famous because she's technically famous in this field, right? Mm. So 
yes, anyone can stand out. Anybody can speak. Anybody can make a difference. It's the choice and the bravery and the willingness to take what comes with it. That's where yeah. people differ. Hmm. And some people don't want it. Yeah, absolutely. But I think the element of uh, the comfort zone also plays a part, isn't it? Because uh, a lot of people, I guess, if they follow a path which is perceived as normal and everything is going okay, they don't have, you know, what they would call like normal challenges and everything is certain. Certainly from a point of view of maybe, you know, like a paycheck, you know, they have to pay bills and everything is good. Yeah. It's quite difficult for them if they're not, not facing any specific challenge to just caught up in that um, comfort zone. I mean, I was, I was speaking to um, one uh, parent actually who goes with my son to football and uh, he works for a company you know they pay very well and you know there's a pension and all of those kind of things but uh, you know he's stuck in there because he doesn't have the time to actually get out and do something of his own but at the same time he, the, the job is not something that he enjoys so you get caught up in that but to actually step out of that there's this scary thing because it's a comfort zone isn't it so you know how what, what would you say like how can people get themselves out of the comfort zone because just like you say to go into the other side of you know making yourself stand out it's quite scary in itself as well it's like an unknown zone and it comes with its own risk as well but if you don't do it you, you're caught up in that cycle of not being happy with yourself, even though you've got some certainty and safety in other aspects. <clears throat> yeah, and I think a lot of that, you know, I think obviously there's a huge rise of mental health challenges. Um, and I think a lot of that, not all of it, is due to being purposeless. And I feel that a lot of people have settled in life. Yeah. And they're not happy. They're not happy. So I'll give you an example. You're talking about that gentleman that doesn't have time, you know, and stuff like that. So I've just started doing this whole new way, this 75 day challenge of eating a certain way, exercising a, third, a certain way. Mm -hmm. And leading up to it, I was like, where am I going to get time? Right. Because you have to prep. You eat six times a day. So where am I going to get time to eat? I barely eat three times a day now. How am I going to get time? Right. But when you're all in, you find the time right yeah. you find the time you find the dedication you find it when and actually even my wife we're talking to my wife because she's doing it well as well because there's no alcohol there's no sugar right there's mm -hmm. there's no salt all these kind of like every there's no snacking you there's no topping up there's no like even fruit there's nothing if it's not in the diet you don't eat it mm -hmm. but i'm loving it it's a great results right <laughs> got rid of the dad bod i'm starting to see my six pack again i feel energy my running's improved because i run a lot as well wow and I was saying to say, and my wife's going, well, you know, we're kind of missing out because we're not drinking, you know, it's great weather, you know, we can't <laughs> even have a beer. And I was like, yeah. look, to me, the result far outweighs not having a beer or yeah. not having a snack. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's the same. When the result outweighs the pain, when the, the reward will be bigger than the pain, then you'll be able to move. Then that guy will take yeah. action, right? Hmm. Or he'll wait till the pain is so severe, then he won't have a choice. Now, yeah. you know, I, 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 I mean, I, when I enrolled in this, it, I wasn't like beating myself up. I wasn't calling myself fat. I just knew it's time to get rid of the dad, the dad bod. There was no self-defecating. It was like, oh, I'm so ugly. I was on this. I need a diet. It was nothing like that. I was like, you know what, dad bod, thank you. You've served me. It's time to go. You know, and I, and I, but I'm all in. And now I'm seeing the results. Four weeks later, it hasn't been easy, right? then i'm like i don't want to i don't want to touch anything now i'm even thinking about life after this challenge and i'm mm -hmm. thinking do i want to go back do i really you know how much am i really missing a drink here and a snack there yeah. because the results are greater than you see so for me if people make a determined decision and don't always make the excuse of the how or mm -hmm. just know that the reward is far greater than the pain of staying where you are you'll find a way when you know when i built my businesses i didn't know the how i did it when i left my job i didn't know how i did it uh, and, and you know i made plenty of mistakes obviously <laughs> loads of stuff has gone wrong um mm. so much things have gone wrong but i wouldn't change it for for, for my life like yeah. I, I have a beautiful family now um two beautiful kids and everything i do is really about leaving a great legacy for them like i want to hand them a bunch of stuff that they can have as businesses because i never had that obviously so that's driven again the reward outweighs 
the the pain so it keeps yeah. me driven mm. and it's the same so you know you're about wealth uh, you know the business wealth and mindset mm. nobody knew no, or nobody has it figured out and anyone that says they do are full of it right yeah but yeah. they know there's something greater in the wealth creation or building that you know branson didn't know how to run an airline when he set up the airline he just knew he had to do it because he had a terrible customer service experience right of course if you're delving to serve industries like you know if, if you're launching a restaurant well you, you better know about food right you better know about customer mm -hmm. service you better know about great experience which is the minimum that people expect or various aspects but if you're always stuck on the how you never move so it's not about the how it's about the who who can help you who can show yeah. you the way yeah. and that's what i'm saying in terms of you know that gentleman when things matter enough for us we find the time the energy the space and the money that's a fact yeah if i'm the time the space the energy and the money when something matters so much to you you find a way and yeah. i think a lot of people's depression and i'm happy to talk about mine you mm -hmm. know comes from comparison you know comparing the shooting i should be bound like i should be doing something else i should be making more money i should have a bigger house right but it also comes from lack of purpose and if we lack of purpose Right. Yeah. If we don't own our purpose, someone will own us. Yeah. And that's a fact. Right. So again, let's take this gentleman. Good job. Good. He's not happy. He's owned. He's someone's. Yeah. He is an employee. He might have great benefits. Good on him. And he, I'm sure he works very hard. Mm -hmm. But he's not owning his journey. He's dependent on someone else. Now, what if someone cuts that string? Boom. Sorry. Yeah. Tomorrow there's no job. Then what? Absolutely. That, that's, a, that's a great share, Elliot. And uh, I, I guess, you know, just to take it into the mindset aspect as well, because, I mean, you mentioned about when the pain is so great, you know, that's when it can make people jump. But from a, a mindset point of view, is this something that, you know, if you have or develop some sort of mindset, you can actually create that in your mind to say, even though the pain is not yet, there to make you jump but you create it in your mind to actually make you take that leap without actually waiting for uh for for things to actually fall apart what what do you think is the the power the value of mindset and how can people get that yeah i mean it's that cliche right the eight percent of everything we do is mindset everything yeah. about it, and that's so true mm. you know anybody anybody can do it this isn't for the chosen few again i think there's a lot of blocks for people's willingness to work on mindset it's also finding what works for you a lot of people go yeah. well I, I used to go to a psychologist well that didn't work for me well that didn't work for you that doesn't mean nothing will work for you yeah yeah right look mindset this last year has been tough for any, ev most people in business right it's been a mm -hmm. very tough year for my my business for my industry um for me because I've been bankrupt and because I almost lost one of my businesses and I turned it around and I, you know, I've got to that point where I've had nothing in my bank account. I've got to the point where I've had, what was it? 900 pounds in my account. And that was enough to pay a venue and the AV guy. And if that, if that event didn't work, I would have lost the business. Right. Mm -hmm. For me, it's, it's tapping or being reminded of the painful past yeah that propels me forwards so we've all had unfortunately most of us have had painful experiences mm -hmm. you can use those as stark reminders i don't want to go back there i don't want to feel that again and i know when we talk about law of attraction things like that we focus on what we do want what we want to attract but equally we can take that past pain and be reminded and you know mm -hmm. those who are driven to that massive global high level are driven by something so painful in their past even if they healed that they, that they 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 never want anyone to experience that again or they never want an industry to experience that again mm. so no you don't have to wait until everything's fallen apart um there's value in that rock bottom's mm. a great place to build from mm. however you can take those memories of the past to push you forwards and you know the thing is about mindset the other thing as you find is some people think it's like oh i've, I've done it i've so i'm sorted now right and what i found is Whenever you get to another level, you know nothing again. And then you go to another level and you know nothing. Yeah. And so especially the more you grow, the less you know. And uh, like so many times I'll sit there and think, well, I, sh I should know all this stuff. I don't. How do I not know that? Right? 
yeah. I'm supposed to be this evolved, but no, but I don't. And that's being humble and grounded about things and going, you don't know everything. Um, having an open and a learning mindset. So, you know, every day I listen to, you know, I, I do certain things every day to keep my mindset fresh. Um, it was, you know, there were times in the last 12 months that I was tempted to just give up, go, okay, I'm done. Mm. Right. Because things were tough. But then in that moment, that's when you dig deep and you find that inner drive. You're reminded of that time when, or you hear that voice going, oh, remember this. You know, I, I knew this would happen. You're like, no, not happening. Not on my watch. <laughs> Boom. So it's finding our drivers. It's finding what matters to us. For me, it's also important to be an example for my young kids. I like, look, I want yeah. them to see the daddy that this and the daddy that that. Not the daddy that sat around, watched TV and drank all day, which is what I saw. Actually, I never saw my dad drink in fairness, but I did see him drink, you know, lie there all day. Mm -hmm. um, so it's taking all those bits and going to the professionals, working with a coach, working with a mentor in various space. You know, at one point I had three different mentors for three different aspects of business building. Yeah. I had three different coaches as well. Now I've got one coach uh, that, and that's what I need right now. And I, I just get that safe space to express myself. Because I, I'm not a huge public figure, but I'm kind of known. And I have to be very careful what I say. And I don't always, always, always have those outlets. So the coach gives me that outlet to express myself. But mindset is a never-ending process. It's an evolution. It's continuous. Like bodybuilders, like runners. It's, you're always working on your craft. Mm. Like footballers, you know. Um, Ronaldo doesn't just go, right, I'm one of the top players in the world. I'm going to stop yeah. training now. I'm done. I'll just rock up to the football pitch and I've got this. Mm. Very few people can do that. Maybe the odd person can. Mm. But, you know, he's always working on himself, improving, no matter what level. He's like, what's the next? How can I be even better? That inch, that millimeter, that centimeter. That's what mindset's about. It's mm. not about going, I'm done, I'm fixed. Right? I find that there's always another level to work. Yeah.